What's up everyone? It's Matt Merzik, aka MVM397 with a quick review for you. Uh, another one from uh, Paul Gill at Gilman Productions. Um, so I painted up a couple Christmas ornaments earlier this year before Christmas of uh, Joker and Batman and I forgot that uh, I had seen at least this guy, Jack, um, also around the same time from uh, Paul Gill at Gilman Productions. So I went ahead and picked him up and uh he threw in barlow for me which was super nice of him um uh, this is something i would have never bought because i'm just not really into dracula kind of stuff but I'll tell you what um i said this in my previous videos of paul's stuff the last kit i reviewed was the uh, witch hunter uh super super high quality um stuff um really really well done these were sculpted bar by uh mark van tyne and Paul produced them, uh, molded and casted them, and um, I tell you what, um, he does really, really good work. These things are amazingly done. Uh, let's talk about the sculpt a little bit. Um, so I love The Shining, great movie, um, and Jack is just just a really freaky character. Mark did a fantastic job on the likeness here of Jack. Just looks really, really cool. Um, It'll be fun to paint him up. You can, you know, he's got, you know, he's got the scruff going on here, nicely molded in there. So this is looks this looks about uh, at the point in the movie where Jack starts to kind of go a little nuts. <laughs> he just let himself go a little bit. Um, so he'll be fun to paint up. The details are done extremely well. Um, and uh, I'm sorry, my dog is whining in the background. So, but anyway, done very well. Sculpting is phenomenal on him looks great and then it just uh looks even better with paul's casting and molding it looks amazing um there's a little bit of a scene line on the top here where he probably cleaned it up just a little bit but again it's you know goes through all the detail and i i can't find it so um if it's there it may pop out when i throw some primer on it but right now i don't see it at all and then barlow he threw in as a little gift for me um, as a thank you for doing some reviews for him, but uh, which was super nice. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have bought Barlow, but again, um, I'm not real familiar with uh, the Barlow uh, Dracula, but the ones I have seen or the pictures of, the, of I've seen, um, the likeness again is like spot on to the character and the actor. And uh, just really, really well done. Nicely molded veins right here in the temples, um, or I should say sculpted. And then the casting also looks great, but um, Mark did a fantastic job on the likeness. Nice texture in the skin. Um, the teeth look amazing. I love the fangs. And then, uh, then of course, uh, Paul Gill did a fantastic job on molding and casting this guy. Uh, same thing. There's a little bit of a hint of a seam line on the top here. And then, it, you know, it looks great. I mean, he, again, he placed a seam line behind the ear, which is really smart. Um, but awesome, really cool ornaments. So these will make nice additions to my Joker and Batman ornaments, and these will be fun to paint up. I'm kind of look. I'm really, I'm really glad he threw this in there as a little freebie because I would have never bought this. And um, he'll be fun to do because I guess you can kind of go in any direction with the skin tone. I've seen kind of like a, a greenish skin tone on this guy. I've kind of seen bluish skin tones on him. Um, so it'll be kind of fun just to do my own interpretation. It'd be kind of fun just to do like black and white, um, like the film. So it'd be kind of cool. But a uh, quick little review. Two awesome ornaments uh, sculpted by Mark Van Tyne. If you want to get these, shoot Paul Gill on Facebook a note under Gilman Productions or Paul Gill. I'll put a link down below. And uh, always, thanks for watching. It's Matt Rosick, a.k.a. MVM397, signing off.